Hello and welcome to Trade Show Joe's video series. I'm Dan Riley and today we're talking about Las Vegas approved lighting. Lighting for trade shows is a pretty important element of bringing your booth to life and for the last several years Las Vegas has had kind of an industry or almost nationwide leading effort to try to make things safer for uh, trade show venues at the Las Vegas Convention Center primarily, but as well as most of the major casinos, uh, exhibit halls have adopted the same policies. So trade show lighting comes in a variety of different forms. Uh, you probably have seen stem lighting. Stem lighting typically means that there is a stem of some sort. Uh, or a long tube with a light fixture at the end of it. This is one of the most common types of light fixtures. This particular one works really well for smaller booths or for um, banner stand applications. And then from there it goes up to bigger, more robust or more powerful light fixtures. Also there's a whole series of light fixtures available that are more track light in nature. Tracks uh, mount across the top of a booth and have individual halogen or LED lights that project down and can be angled uh, onto the booth itself or onto the products being displayed at the booth. The reason that this came into effect, so I've been told, is that there was a number of incidents over the years uh, where lighting became a fire hazard and lights weren't mounted uh, well enough on booths. They were left unattended and maybe those lights became hot and ultimately fell or leaned or tilted or otherwise became uh, in contact with something that's potentially flammable. Something like the carpet, something like drapery, something like the graphics or the fabrics of the booth. All pretty risky, especially if left unattended. And Las Vegas has some of the strictest fire ordinances in the country because they've had a history of problems with casinos catching on fire, high rises, and whatnot. So they've kind of taken a stance and led the industry in this. Um, as far as what is allowable, I can tell you that lower wattage halogen lights, this is an example of a lower wattage halogen light which we'll uh, delve into a bit later. But this light is 75 watts and it is not so intense and, and doesn't get so hot that it's deemed a fire hazard. Other types of incandescent and halogen lights are allowed to be used as long as they don't get beyond the 75 watt threshold. The other types of lights uh, that can be used as standard incandescent bulbs Incandescent bulbs are basically going to work just like a light bulb at your house. Those uh, typically run from a very low wattage, maybe 40, up to around 100. Those are perfectly acceptable to be used at the trade show uh, setting uh, in Las Vegas, as well as LED lights. LED lights are some of the kind of newer lighting technology, and they are allowed to be used because they put out a good amount of bright light, but they don't do it with any real heat signature. By heat signature, they're not really intense. They have a series of lights. This particular light here, uh, we call the Lumina LED, is uh, probably about 80 bulbs or so, and each one of those bulbs is independent of one another, and they all light simultaneously. They're all low wattage, and they all don't put out a lot of heat, so they even collectively you get a good amount of light, but without the heat. So therefore, these are allowed to be used uh, in Las Vegas. Most banner lights can be used in Las Vegas. Banner lights are historically lower wattage. They would take an MR16 bulb, uh, which is um, you know pretty standard, and you can get that up to a 75 watt uh, rating, power rating. They don't get very hot, and they're allowed to be used, and we offer a variety of different banner-specific stem lights that are used for that application. Lights that can't be used, uh, big bright halogen lights, lights that take what's called a linear bulb. A linear bulb is about a thickness of a pencil and comes in a variety of lengths, 
such as this guy, which is probably about three inches, this guy, which is probably about maybe an inch and three quarters or two inches. These are very bright, but they also put out a tremendous amount of heat as a result of using this in most trade show fixtures. Unfortunately, these are not able to be used in Las Vegas. Uh, other types of lights that are banned for Las Vegas are lights that are made for uh, theater or stage or studio production. You probably have seen very bright, intense lights which will light up a whole room, but they get a lot of uh, heat put out from them and they normally use a halogen or real intense fluorescent type bulb. Those are completely not able to be used uh, in a booth type capacity for Las Vegas. To learn more about Las Vegas approved lighting and what's allowable and what's disallowable, you can visit our website at tradeshowjoe.com. Across the top navigation, uh, go to lighting, then scroll down uh, within that to what is Las Vegas approved, and you'll see information. Uh, examples of bulbs that are uh, allowed and bulbs that aren't allowed. And at the very bottom of that page, you'd be able to click and, get, click and get a PDF document, which is what I'm holding here. And this is from the Las Vegas Convention Authority. And this basically spells out all of the cans and cans as relates to their lighting policy for the Las Vegas Convention Center. So thank you for taking the time to watch our video today on Las Vegas Approved Lighting. We uh, invite you to contact us toll free, uh, to direct chat with us, or to contact us via email. We look forward to hearing from you soon.